Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here with my very, very, very messy, uh, it looks kind of like the yard sale desk going on, <laughs> but I'm here today to make a little video because I feel like there are some things that we really need to talk about in general, but we're going to talk about it on this channel because we can. And I wanted to do something a little different and let's chit chat. So first of all, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I am 34 years old. I live in Oregon. I'm an all cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. If that's something you're interested in, please hit that like and subscribe. Um, and make sure that that little notification bell says all, so that way you get to see all of my videos. So, I've been working on orders, guys. I have been working on, on orders like a crazy person. And if you are a member of my YouTube uh, bestie friend group, then you know you have something special coming in the mail too. So, um, I'm working on all of it, I'm working on all, all the things. I've got some laminating to do. I've been cutting these little cards out. <laughs> By the way, you guys, <laughs> I made a boo boo. I forgot to make myself a set of all of these little uh, games that I'm gonna be playing. So. I kind of missed this setup by cutting too close to the laminated part. Um, so this is going to be my set because why not? So let's, let's go ahead and, and talk about these two items. I am not sure if I shared my new Amazon wish list, but somebody sent me these. And I'm not kidding you guys, I have had the roughest start to my day. I literally woke up feeling like tears were going to be falling today. But when this came in the mail, it brightened my day. So these are some Sharpies. These are highlighters, but I'm going to use them for all sorts of things. But the reason I got these highlighters is because when I go to highlight with my fancy dancy pens that I love, these these kinds of pens with the um, kind of runny, runny ink, um, I just like them. They're my preference for pens. Um, I wanted these because I want to be able to highlight stuff without it smearing. I also love these colors and we're going to be using this for some savings challenges and this, this here is a whole pack of beautifully colored um, dry erase markers and I love that they have the little sponge thing on, the, on them because I have things that I've been laminating like this where I can't get it off. This is permanent markers, so we're going to be using these. I had some dry erase markers, but I kind of sort of shared them with my youngest kid and he left some of the marker tips uh, open too long and uh, the lids are gone. And so these are now mine. He has his own set of uh, color stuff, by the way. That kid loves art. He is my art baby. He loves art. I am a good artist. I draw. Um, I have been doing art most of my life. Like I think my dad and my mom were saying that I started writing at like four years old. Really just writing. And I had always been a great artist. Um, I draw more realistic things like people and faces and um, fancy lady eyebrows and eyes and, you know, all the things. I really wanted to be um, an artist for like a company like Studio Ghibli, 
Um, but obviously that dream never happened because I'm 34 and I work at fast food places and pizza places and all the things, right? So what I'm trying to get at here is you have no idea, Patty, by the way, this came from Patty, how much you made my day by, by literally sending me these because I've had a rough day. Um, it started with the fact that my, ooh, my bestie in my real, uh, yeah, I know this is yard sale desk, garage sale desk. It, it's, <laughs> it looks, it looks crazy. Look at this, you guys. It is a giant mess. I've got these all over the desk. I have these pouches. I have my, all my Etsy stuff blah, everywhere. It's making me crazy. Um, but anyway, my bestie is moving away. Um, she is moving to, I can't remember where. I'm terrible. I can't remember where she's moving. I just know she's moving. And I have been friends with her since middle school. So I'm sad about that. But I'm also sad about how we treat people. How we treat people, okay? So I am on many groups on Facebook for budgeting. I am on here for budgeting, obviously, because we're all here hanging out. And we are involved, My both my husband and I are involved in a lot of low-income um, groups on Instagram. And um, I've, I'm not a TikToker. I know that sounds like I'm an old person saying that. But I don't do TikTok because people are so gosh darn mean. Why do people have to be mean to each other, you guys? Everybody's here trying their hardest. I've had some pretty judgy comments um, in the past, but I've seen some people just rip people a new one for nothing, you know? Um, there's a, a budgeter on a low income Facebook group. This, this young lady, she is really, really trying. Okay. So she, she has one of those, you know, those notebook things for like Pokemon cards, baseball cards, and you can slip the cards in the front. Well, she has like three of them in this little binder thing. And she said that her son was going to throw it away because he had wrote on the front of some of those. But there was three that were not written on. And so she put a little piece of paper in the front so she could start saving money into these little slots. And somebody literally berated her for the way she was saving well, that doesn't look right. And she's like, well, I'm sorry. I don't have any pretty stuff. I don't have any budget binders right now. I'm low income. I am trying my best. This is my first month. I'm, I'm doing this. We need to praise those people who are trying really hard and this is the first time they're doing it or maybe they don't have money to buy all of this stuff. Do you want to know where I got all my stuff? This stuff came from Sheen. You guys saw a video of that. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. Um, I got a few items on there for $5 because that's what was in my price range. Okay. Um, this is just a cup that I had. This is something my husband bought me when we first, when I first moved in to my apartment and he wanted me to feel at home and he wasn't living with me yet. Um, but he was like, Amanda, this is your home now, you know? So that's why I keep this cup and I don't use it. And I was the boss lady for the longest time because I've been a manager a lot. These came from the Dollar Tree. Okay. This was a wonderful gift from a good budgeting friend of mine. And she made the envelopes. Okay. Um, these, you guys, are from the Dollar Tree. Okay. Um, all of these binders. Every single one of these binders. 
This I got from a giveaway. This I got with um, Amazon um, return money from an item that I bought. I think it was vitamins um, that did not come packaged correctly. And I decided to go to the regular store to buy the vitamins. They didn't return the vitamins um, or anything. They just gave me, because um, I can't return food, vitamins, or hair care products. Things that, you know, you can put on your body or consume. So, that one was $7.99. All of these I have had for an eternity. This was a gift from the Crafty Saver. And all the rest of these, I got either as Happy Meal from you guys through my Amazon wish list, or I purchased it with Fetch Rewards, which is where all I'm doing is taking a picture of my receipts and gaining points until I can get a gift card. That jar over here. This one, that's for my coin jar. I'm trying not to make everything fall because I feel like this is just like crazy. This, this jar here, this big one, that one came from my job. That had maraschino cherries in it. I, I soaked it. I ripped the tag off that was around it. Um, it still has the marking of our dates on the top. Okay. None of this is special. None of this has to be fancy. None of this has to be an, it can be an accumulation. This has taken me a very long time. Um, all these stickers were gifts from you guys. Um, these little Disney ones came from a kit when I worked at a burger place that was selling Disney stuff. And if you know, um, the, that burger place is the only one that sells Disney stuff. So now you know where I've worked. And, and it may be golden arches shaped in a certain little letter. Can't even talk. But all this stuff took me time. Okay. Um, people were berating somebody else on um, somebody's new channel. I'm not going to mention who they are because I don't want them to feel ashamed in any which way of shame or form. But they were making their own challenges on lined paper. Don't you ever sit there and tell somebody that they can't try something. I don't care what it looks like. If you have a problem with it, move along. Go watch somebody else's channel. But the hurtful, mean things that I've seen lately in some of these communities, and luckily most of it is not here on YouTube. Most of it. There is some hostile things here and there. Everybody on everybody who's a content creator on here knows what I'm talking about. But if somebody's trying, think before you say something. But this young lady who was using this thing to save money, these little slots where you save, you know, coins and, or not coins, uh, cards, like trading cards, like one was for dollars, one was for two dollars, one was for like five dollars. She had one that had um, twenty dollars on it, it had two twenties in it, and she was so proud of those two twenties. Doesn't have to be fancy. I was actually talking to April from April's Budgets, and I will link her in this because I'm going to shout her out. We were talking the other day about what my first envelopes looked like because we were talking about how, like, there's this thing in the, the air that everyone thinks that you have to start with all this stuff, okay? This is, this is the notebook. This, this is the notebook that I started with that I, when I really started doing my debt journey, okay? I was sleeping in my car when I started that debt journey. And this was in July of 2020. And this was my list of bills that I thought that I needed. By the way, when you're sleeping in your car, $100 in household meant like showers um, and stuff to 
make me seem presentable at both of my full-time jobs. Pet supplies was for my only uh, two pets at the time, um, which were staying with friends or um, Miss Violet. She slept in my car with me. Um, food, that's what I would give myself for food. Because I worked in food, you guys, I could eat for free. It doesn't work like that no more. Um, that was my gas because all I was doing was literally keeping it on for heat and for um, AC when it got a little too hot. And uh, I literally was just going to and from work, my car insurance, and then my, my car payment because I was living in my car. But, but this here is the notebook. Let me go show you an example. I'll be right back. This is an example of a very first envelope Amanda used. Right here. This was it. This is how I got 10K out of debt, guys. See this? You know, you know, we all have these. You know how I do it? Simple. Debt number one. And then I would put the amount. We'll say 300 dollars. Envelope. I had to stack these. Once this would be done, bye. Garbage. Nobody needs it. It's gone. Doesn't have to be fancy. You you can start with a notebook. You guys you guys have seen my 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 written plan notebook, which I think is in the other room, um, where it's just literally a composition book. That's all it is from the Dollar Tree. So I also want to disclose something too. Somebody thought that I had generated my, my savings challenges with AI. Um, I appreciate you asking. I do not use AI to make any of my stuff. Um, I use clip art. Because I'm not going to draw all this stuff out for you guys. This is clip art. It's not that I can't draw. It's just that I can't draw that much stuff and sell it for that cheap. Because to me, then it becomes art. My husband's like, well, then it's art. And then you have to sell it like art. Yeah. So be kind be kind to yourself if you're just starting, if you're struggling. If you don't have any of this, it's okay. You get, you go get yourself some, some of these from the trash, from the recycling, where you uh, pulled out a bill and you start putting the, the money in this. It's okay. I'm not going to judge you. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, I am going to clap for you if, you if you started with this. If you told me this is how you started too, this was 10 months of me using these, okay? So do what you can with what you got, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, Patty, again for these. I appreciate you, and I appreciate anybody who has ever sent me anything you guys treat me more like family than I could even imagine. Bye guys!